Okay, what is going on everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It is your host DKK here, and today we're doing another uh, live tournament game. I'm playing against my friend Wadley here in the NU tier, actually, for that side tournament that I'm a part of. So I'm using a sand team provided to me by my friend Plaz, so thank you to him. And, you know, I'm, obviously Wadley's a good friend of mine. We actually met through this tournament uh, a while ago, the last sequence, or last one, you can check that video out. But, uh, yeah, we haven't played that much uh, NU together, so I'm excited for this game for sure. So let's get into it. I'm gonna accept the challenge using sand. Oof, I do not like. Well, actually, I think I do like this matchup. Let me hold on. Let me paste this to my team. This matchup is definitely not ideal. I was expecting more of an offense, so seeing something that's almost stall like is definitely not what we want. So what are we working with here exactly? Super, super bulky team. Fortunately, I'm magnet on this, but that doesn't really help me a ton. I think my goal is to break with my Lycanroc. At plus two, it should do very well into this team. Um, this can also put in a lot of work versus my opponent's team. So we'll have to see exactly how it goes down. But yeah, um... Uh, Maybe my Eggy can win too. Although the Articuno is always going to be like a very hard stop to that thing. And the Clef will be. And I don't have a lot of knock support on this team. So that's going to make things a little bit tough. Uh, Alright, let's lead off with Sand Slash actually. Okay, definitely not the lead we wanted. That's okay. Can go Eggy here. Oh, Toxic right off the bat is tough. Um... That's fine. I'm just gonna flamethrower again on this turn. Turn the brightness down a little bit. This is a pretty tough matchup. I don't think I can break that easily. I have to hope plus two, uh, plus two lichen rock is gonna be the key here. Toxic's also interesting. So, Articuna comes in. Fortunately, I'm Citrus Berry Harvest, so, like, this is, like, not ideal, but it's okay. And I can just get my sand up, which just help chip away at stuff a little bit. So, he's going to turn. That's good. Articuno's low, which is helpful. He can try to, you know, heal it back up later, but we should be okay. I used a lot of that timer at the beginning there. So, Vaporeon comes in. Um, so, it's probably Wish Protect Scald, and then this is Heal Bell or Aromatherapy. So... I want to avoid Toxic if I can help it, so I'm just going to go into my Zatu, which I'm going to have to use to pivot quite a bit in this game. So that Skull does a lot of damage, actually, so I'm going to roost up here. Um, toxic Vapo is actually really annoying for my team to handle. No, no nothing really is going to make this tough. So I'm going to go Helio here. Um, he's going to wish up as uh it's fine i think i can just volt switch here i want to give up the idea of me being who's messaging me oh it's ace uh sorry i'll check that out later um Maybe my Helio can do it. I have really no great stall breaking methods here. Uh, like, again, Lycanroc might be the key, but the problem is with Lycanroc is that I'm not Life Orb. So, if I do this and Lycan, if I'm at plus two, how much do I do to Weezing? Let's assume the worst. 64 to 76. So, I need to get him down to 64 to 76. He actually decides to. Well, there's no way he scalded on that turn, so he's probably going to Toxic, yeah. So that works out pretty excellently for me. I'm going to Roost now, because he's going to be hard-pressed to go Articuno, yep. And this will allow me to bring in the Gigalith again and put my rocks up. Yep. So he's still low. He's going to be forced out of here. I don't think he can stay in. Um, I could put another Toxic off, and I kind of want to. 
because um, rocks aren't going to be that valuable, but getting Eldegoss poisoned, that's way more valuable, in my opinion. So, we're, we're doing a decent job of breaking down the stall a little bit. We get a Toxic off, that's really nice to have. Um, could go Helio. I'm going to play aggressive, I'm going to go Helio. He's going to Scald me, so we get that turn right. Um, have I switched up moves? I haven't. I also have Dark Pulse instead of Surf, which makes things a little bit more annoying. But yeah, my opponent really can't touch me. The best he can do is go into this, which gets hardwalled by Zatu anyways, so I think Volt Switch is fine here. Yeah, like this is fine, because we already said we got hardwalled by Zatu. I just go Zatu here, and then I just teleport out of there. He can play aggressive, but I think the best way to punish that would be going into Articuno, which... Okay. Poison is a little annoying. I'd rather be burnt. Um, okay, I roost up there. He goes for EQ, which doesn't do that much. I think we teleport here. Okay, now we finally get a knock into this team, which is going to be very good. So I'm going to knock. The Weezing gets knocked. That's probably uh, Rocky Helmet. Okay, 72%. So, what do we say the calc was? Stone Edge does 64 to 76. So not quite there, but we have a chance. Although I don't like how everything's very weakened. <laughs> um, it's Levitate, so I can't EQ it. Let's go into Gigalith to try to chip it away with Sand a little bit. But yeah, this sequence is going to be very tough. Um, we get him low enough. Now he's definitely in range of plus two. Now the question is, actually, everything is almost set up. It's just the Clefairy, which might be on a... Wait, no, it's not... Yeah, it doesn't get unaware. Yeah, so Clefairy gets knocked out by plus two. Um, okay, 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 okay. We can probably try to go for game soon. Um, I just can't risk anything right now. Oh man, this is tricky, isn't it? Um, I gotta predict. I think, I think that Eldegoss is coming in, so I can either go Sand Slash to try to Leech Life that thing, which I don't really like, or hmm, yeah, I could do that. I think I'll double Heliolisk gear. Okay, he just goes for that. That's fine. Um, double into Slash, I think. Okay, so everything's set up more or less. I have to just find the opportunity to actually set up an SD. Because I think everything should drop. It's especially defensive, so it should drop, yeah. Eldegoss comes in. I'm just going to leech life here. Okay. That works out very well. Now I get a nice knockoff into the team yet again. Probably a little aggressive, but I figured he would switch, and now Weezing is getting low, which is very, very important to my game plan here. Um, I'm going to go Zatu, because he might paint split a Wisp. Yep. Now I can... Roost up. He's going to stay in. Good play. I'm going to roost up again because, again, we're not too worried about much here. And I could just Nightshade and knock this thing out. Oh, it's faster than me. Okay, okay. Very cool, very cool. I mean, not cool, but bad, to be honest. But it's okay. As he's going to roost up again. He heal bells on this turn. And I think he'll be wary of the Toxic. So I'm just going to go for Rock Bless on this turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go Eggy on this turn, try to make something happen. Maybe, I thought it would be faster than Articuno, so it's kind of a bad play on my part, but it should be okay. Grass Knot is not gonna do much, and he's gonna be pressured to switch out of here, but he doesn't have a great switch in besides 
the clef. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna teleport here. The clef should also go down. Yeah, so I just gotta I just gotta hit plus two. Now all I have to do is just hit plus two. So Stunfisk Galar comes in. That's fine. Um not quite there yet. That's kind of crazy because I think that's fine. Again, I'm just gonna go for knock because it's my best play. I could also even SD. Which might be a little too aggressive, but would it work? Let's check no item. Come on. No, not a bomb. <laughs> okay, 32 to 39. Not quite there. But after, um, yeah, this might be okay after sand. Okay, nice. Down it goes. We're in a good spot. We have a bunch of speed, and we're going to hit everything extremely, extremely hard. So we're in a decent spot. Uh, we can't even go Eldegoss because I leech, I leech, leech life uh, that thing. Uh, Earthquake will hit Vaporeon extremely hard. And I don't even have to go into it okay i think we're in we're in, we're in a good spot uh like it rock can win as well now i mean it always was going to win but it's looking even more and more possible because the less stone edges i have to hit the better in my opinion so let's see if we can get it done here um how much was i doing to this thing How much have I hit this? I've hit it with something. I've had to have hit it with something. Okay. Heliolus Volt Switch did 51%. How much time do we have on the clock? Okay. We have quite a bit. So let's do some a magnet Heliolisk versus a Vaporeon. And you defensive. It did it said 51%, so. Volt switch. 51, right? Yeah, exactly. And then if I have my Sand Slash at plus two, EQ does 94 to 110. Oh, I'm taking that roll, my friend. I will 100% take that. Um, I guess he could go Articuno, but do you risk that if you're my opponent? That is the question. Or do I just knock and take the damage? Uh, worst case, I just go Gigalith and put my rocks back up or throw a Toxic off. I think that's fine. I think EQ is fine. Because even if he goes Articuno, he's pressured to either Roost. Um, and I can get a Toxic off into the team yet again. Okay, he decides to go Eldegoss, which actually is probably okay. I should outspeed this so I can hit it with a Leech Life. He decides to go Articuno, which gives me a little bit of health, which is like fine. And again, at this point, I don't... I could stay in, but I think that's unnecessarily risky. I have a good switch in Gigalith. He does Freeze Dry, and uh, he is dead I just click rock blast here well this may or may not kill but oh come on all right one more all right that's fine that's a little frustrating but it's okay um vaporeon comes in oh that's really annoying but it's okay it's okay it's okay um i'm just gonna go eggy here eggy's always safe 
opponent decides to go for that. That's cool. I think I could go for health. It'll knock out a 6% Articuno, and it'll heal up my art, my egg Executor, which gives me more Citrus Berry action. Well, I already have my Citrus, but I will be able to preserve my Citrus. And yeah, I think we're okay. I really wish we knocked out the Articuno, because then Toxic starts to rack up on everything, and I win the game. So a little frustrating, but nothing that we can't come back from, I don't think. But yeah. Okay, Eldegoss comes in. Yeah, that can heal up for all I care. Get a little bit of health back. He's going to wish back up to full. I Citrus. <sighs> it's a little frustrating, but it's okay. I'm going to Flamethrower. I need the chip pretty badly. Oh, get a nice burn. I'll take I'll take that burn. I will take that burn uh, for sure. And now if, my, if I'm my opponent, I'm going to switch out of here. I'm just going to go for Giga Train as the Vaporeon comes in. Yep. So that works out pretty well. Um, and hmm. this toxic is very annoying, but I've probably overstayed my welcome, but he can't wish. I don't think, well, he might. And I think I just have to accept, no, I'm going to go Helio. Yeah, he's going to protect there. So that works out pretty well for me. Um, I'm just going to... It doesn't really matter what I do at this point, right? Does it? I don't think so. I think I just Hyper Voice. He gets a little bit of health back. Definitely annoying, but it's okay. Oh, he probably thinks I'm choiced. Okay, I should have just T-bolted there. I forgot that he thought that I'm not choiced. So... I will just... Yeah, I figured he might try to get aggressive there. Um... The wish is still in the air. There's no denying that. The wish is certainly still in the air, but we are in an okay position for sure. I'm going to go back into Gigalith. We get the Spadef boost. My opponent is probably just going to roost. Um, oh, they don't know. The wish doesn't. Oh, right. Because the wish doesn't. No, the wish fails. The wish fails. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, I don't think they can risk Rock Blast again. So they're going to either go Cleffa or Clefable or the Eldegoss, which I can't really punish either way. So I think Rock Blast is fine. I am getting chipped. That is the problem. And we're slowly but surely... Yeah, there's the Clefairy. Which takes absolutely nothing from that. Dang. Um, I messed up that sequence, but it's okay. I'm going to go Zatu now. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not messing around with this. I'm going into you. I'm swords dancing, and I'm going to go for game. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, not this. Anything but this. Um... Cliff, uh, Lycan Rock. If I can just get a plus two advantage over the Clefairy, we should be okay. So theoretically, we should be okay. Oh man, <laughs> I got a hit. <laughs> so LSD once, they charge beam, they get, okay, I'm just going to go for it. I have to hit the stone edge here. 54, stored power. All right, we just got to hit one more. Come on, Lycan Rock. Okay, good play from them, pressuring out uh, another stone edge. So I only have five left, but I think, I think that should be game because I can just... Stunfisk, Galar. Okay, CC always knocks this thing out. Let's just CC. 
Okay, good, good, good. Hold. Eldegoss. If it's Spideff, it's gonna drop. The question is, okay, we have time. When has this Eldegoss taken damage? Rock Blast, it took 10 from each Rock Blast. So let's go to Gigalith. Rock Blast, uh, it's probably a little bit more defensive than if it's taking three hits, it took 10, 10, 12. What is that, 32? So it's a little bit more defensive. Let's assume it's max. Bold, no, bold. Uh, it's Okay, so it's not quite max, but if we assume that it is and go for this, so it's not quite max, it's probably like, like that much. And then we take Gigalith and we see that rock less that much. Okay, so let's assume 87 to nine, it's a roll. Uh, is it a roll that I'm willing to take? I do not think so. Yep, and I think I just, I think I just Giga Drain here. I can teleport. times 1.5 okay now things are starting to get tricky that was a good rapid spin play on his part um uh math 240 times 1.5 350 yeah we're, we're we're good reach life now that is dead and we should be okay. Let's just EQ and we win the game on a crit. Okay, GG to our friend. Uh, was definitely a close game. I did play a little bit unoptimally, um, but it was tough. I think the stall was really hard to break. Fortunately, Lycanroc was able to pick up the dub there. Um, I think looking back on it, I could have pressured a little bit harder with my Heliolisk. I messed up that that one turn pretty badly um so anyways yeah if you guys want to leave it off there we can but yeah this sequence is okay i got a lot of, got a lot of things get messed up a little bit i'm not gonna lie but definitely the mess the, the bad sequence was when i i've been i was planning on baiting specs the entire game and then i decided to just throw that away for no reason but i got the i got him on the next turn which ended up being okay um, cause I knew he thought I would SD. So this was fine. That was a good series of plays from his end, uh, for sure. And I thought it was faster there. That was a pretty big mess up. I should have probably anticipated, Hey, Articuno, not going to be faster. Uh, or is definitely gonna be faster. Cause I don't have a ton of speed. Um, um, from there, this sequence is good. I actually played well with the Aggie Alola and we end up from there i think everything else from there was fine this was a good sequence this is where i messed it up go helio uh, my opponent protected i go hyper voice he thinks i'm specs and i literally act i i fake myself out and i thought i was specs too apparently so that was really bad should have just gone for t-bolt but i got him on this turn because i figured he would try to catch me with uh like uh sd as he protected so that worked out pretty well so that works out well and then this sequence is kind of tough um, the one rock blast was a little annoying. Got bailed out here, then I SD'd, two hit KO. He took one more, that was a good play, this was fine. And then I didn't want to risk that roll, so I go into you. He makes a good play, but I sack this, put it in leech life range, and then EQ would have knocked him out. So, worked out pretty well, we pick up a pretty big dub, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, we'll see you guys in the next game. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, please. Thank you, bye.